Hi and welcome back to the Fuji Guys channel. I'm Gore of the Fuji Guys. The X-T20 is Fujifilm's mid-level mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. In this video I'm going to take one out of the box, put it together, show you all the different pieces that are inside and start taking pictures. So stick around. The X-T20 can be purchased a few different ways. First, there's two color options, either an all-black version or a black with silver accents. You can also purchase it body only or with the XF1855 f2.8 to f4 premium kit lens or with the standard XC16-50 to 35-56 lens. That's what this box is. Let's open it up. Inside you'll find two boxes. One has the lens and one box has the camera. Start with the lens box. Opening it up is some potentially some instructions and technical information in there as well. And then there is the lens and the lens hood. It's always a good idea to have the lens hood on the lens when you're outdoors. So at that point, uh, it prevents any extraneous light from entering the lens and, cause, and ruining your pictures. I'm going to get that to one side for the purposes of this video. Open up the lens. And just keep that there for the time being. Camera box. First open up the camera box, you'll find uh, an instruction manual. Depending on your region, this will have uh, different languages on it. Included in here as well is some warranty information and some extra information. It's always a good idea, if, especially as you're learning the camera, to keep the instruction manual close by so you can refer to it. I'm going to put it to one side for the time being. Opening up the box, you see the camera sitting right up on top. Pull that out. And then in, further inside the box, there's a sub-panel. And here's where all the accessories are. Inside here, you find a camera strap. And the little D-rings and an adapter tool to be able to put the camera strap onto the camera. It's a fairly simple process, and there's a little tool in there that helps spread the little D-rings out to make it a little lot easier to get it onto the lugs of the camera. Also inside is an NP126S battery. And a charging brick and mains cable. Depending on the country that you are and the plug configurations, it will be a little bit different cable through here. Here in North America, we've got the standard 110 volt. No matter what type of cable you have, it will, the other end of it will plug into the charger. The battery will have a little bit of charge on it when you get open it up. It's always a good idea to charge the battery before first use. To do that, simply insert the battery. There's only one way that the battery can be properly inserted into the charging grip. As an alternative, you can purchase an optional USB cable and USB charge brick and be able to charge the battery in the camera. Particularly helpful if you're traveling. Open up the bag here and there's my X-T20. So, battery goes in first. Open up the battery door and line up the little orange dot with the little orange tab inside the battery chamber. There's also a spot in here for the SD card. The camera does not ship with any internal memory nor with an SD card, so you need to purchase an optional SD, SDHC or SDXC card. If you're going to be recording videos, we recommend a minimum of a Class 10 U3 card for speed performance. That simply slides in there. To remove it, push the card back in again, and it's very easy to reach in and pull the card out. Take the front body cap off. I always like to keep the camera tilted down ever so slightly. This prevents any dust from inadvertently getting in and onto the sensor. 
take the rear cap off of the lens and line up the orange dot on the lens with the orange dot on the lens mount and rotate clockwise. Take the front lens cap off and I'm ready to take my first picture. When I first power on the camera, it's actually going to go through the startup menu and it's ask, going to ask for the various languages and choose the language that I want to. And then I set the date and time. I always like to set that right out of the gate. The reason being is now every single picture I take will automatically have the correct time on it. It's now just a matter of with the camera in automatic mode, I just have to focus, zoom, and take my first picture. To play it back, just a matter of hitting the playback button. Because the X-T20 does have a touch screen, I can actually pinch to zoom and maneuver around using my finger. After you become more familiar with your X-T20, you can start looking at the different creative options. And we've got other videos explaining some of the different controls that are on there. But this video is to show you how to quickly and easily start taking pictures right out of the box. So that's how you can take an X-T20 out of the box, put it together, and start taking pictures right away. Hope you enjoyed. If you should have any questions about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter at FujiGuys. Look for us on Facebook, Instagram. Until next time, I'm Gordo the Fuji Guys. Thanks for watching.